3D cell culture has a wide range of applications, including Tissue engineering specializes in the repair of damaged tissues through the injection of new ones generated by 3D cell culture. In fact, as 3D culture remains a reliable method for conducting stem cell and cell differentiation research, and may have greatly aided tissue regeneration and reconstruction by providing alternative approaches to tissue repair. Instead of using biomaterials, human tissues can be grown in 3D using microstructured fiber scaffolds. Tissue engineering, however, can be quite expensive and regulation in some countries is not well defined. Organon-chip are long-term, controlled 3D cell culture models created with the development of biocompatible microfluidic chips that facilitate tissue manipulation and study, as well as microfluidic technologies that allow accurate microenvironmental parameter control. These organs on chip are biomimetic systems that replicate the microstructures, dynamic mechanical properties, and biochemical functions of living organs. Microfluids help to mimic organ function by simulating tissue interfaces and monitoring and regulating the microenvironment. The microchannels, which house a three-dimensional cell culture, are linked to holes through which fluids running through are mixed. At the end of the day, organs on chips produce well-organized tissue that are increasingly representative of an in vivo organ structure and its processes. 3D cell culture is a cost-effective and time-saving culture technique for drug screening because it significantly shortens drug trial periods while increasing precision or targeting. For example, cancer therapeutics are improving thanks to microengineering applications like organs on chips, which improve the benefit-risk balance by more precisely targeting a specific cell type, a defined biomechanism, or a precise receptor. However, Far too many drug tests continue to fail due to their inability to provide progression-free survival. Indeed, no matter how close to in vivo they are, there is still a gap between 3D cell culture-generated tissues and in vivo tissues.